Uh, Neil Denton is here today to answer some of your lawn care questions. Good to see you. Good to see you. Doing all right? Doing great. You got the double glasses going today. I yeah, like that. Sometimes yeah, you have three yeah. going. I know, I know. Sometimes. Sometimes. All right, here we go, Neil. First one comes from Haley. She says, we cut down a mimosa in our yard over a year ago, but they keep sprouting up throughout the yard and flower beds. They're so hard to dig up. Any advice? Basically, the best thing to do, if you cut down a large one, you need to treat the stump with something that will kill the root zone. Um, you can Several herbicides can be used, and also just keep digging them up. That's all you can do. But if you do cut one down, treat it immediately. Don't wait more than 15, 20 minutes to treat it. All right, here we go. We got David asked, we are inundated with biting gnats and flies. Any suggestions for eliminating this problem? Well, basically, you have to use insect repellent on yourself. If you are on a farm, um, a lot of those flies come uh, breed into manure piles. So during the summer, June through August, if you can do something to drag those down out in the field and clean up stalls and that kind of thing, you may have less flies around. You're talking about those horse flies, right? Horse flies and also the little green-headed flies. Oh, goodness, yeah. And they will bite the crap out of you. And then <laughs> okay. the gnats, the gnats are, are nothing you can real do to change. <laughs> they're just where they're at. <laughs> okay. well, there's an answer for you. Yeah. All right, Thomas, Thomas says, I have several <laughs> crepe myrtles. <laughs> they're covering my sidewalks and drive with their blooms, but this year, uh, I have green stuff that grows under them on the driveway that gets so slimy after the rain that I have actually fallen twice. Is this the crepes or is this something else going on? It's something else. It's probably a very primitive plant called Nostock. And uh, it, it grows, it, it'll dry up to nearly nothing and then will bloom out when it rains. Uh, anything with copper in it will take care of it. <laughs> all right if you have a question hopefully we've answered all those fly questions <laughs> you, you can email us five at five at wbir.com just put on the subject line <laughs> ask neil